All right, friends, your job was to look at this number bond and fill in the blanks. Blank and blank is seven. So here's what I heard. You took the parts two and five. I heard that word. Blank and blank. Two and five. So you filled in two and five is two and five is seven. Very good. Look at this though. We can actually take these numbers we just wrote and make this into an equation because I know some friends are excited about writing equations. When I think of the and, that tells me I'm putting things together. Two and, the math symbol we use for that, sorry, I was having a hard time holding my board up. Let me do a better job. Two and, we would use that plus sign, five is, two and five is or equals seven. These math symbols, the plus sign and the equal sign, represent the words we use. This equal sign or the word is means the things on this side, a two and a five, are the same as the thing on this side a seven. Two and five makes or is or is the same as seven. Let's see if we can try another one. Let's try another one. Okay, let me draw and give you, okay, so I'm going to turn my board again because you know we have to be flexible. Here are my parts and my number bond, okay, and all right, let's see. This time I'm thinking one and three, one and three, hmm, okay, one and something and something is something. So now I need to know how to fill in lots of things. Are these the parts or the whole? They're the parts, very good. So if I take one, and put it over here, and I take three and put it over here, how many do I have? You're right, four. Okay, so how are we gonna fill in our sentence? Blank and blank is blank. Well, this and tells me what? That I'm putting it together. So what did I put together here? I put together one and three. And then I have the word is. What did I get when I put together one and three? I put together one and three and got four. Read it with me. One and three is four. If you wanted to make this an equation, what could it say? One plus three equals four. Watch this. I can do this really cool thing. I almost put the wrong cap on my marker. I can switch the order of my words around because when I'm putting things together, it goes back and forth. It goes both ways, a reciprocal relationship. So I could say four is blank and blank. So what would go here? Four is one and three. We have to pay really close attention. I could even write that as an equation. Four equals one plus three. I can Say it all these different ways. Four equals, four is the same as one and three. Four equals one plus three. Four is one and three. Or one and three is four. One plus three equals four. These things all represent the same combinations to make the number four. All right, so I have one more job for you. I'm gonna show you one more 
chart, one more part, part, whole, I'm sorry, one more number bond. Okay, so I'm going to go with two and let's say seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want you to finish my number bond. I have two and seven. I need to know what's going to go up here. And then I want you to write to fill this in. Two and seven. I need to know what goes here in the number bond. I need to know what my number sentence would be. And for a bonus, if you want to try the equation, you can do that too. So send me a video showing me how you would finish this number bond, how you would finish this sentence, and if you want to, try to write the equation.